the MNE system is very precise and accurate. What is the problem? It is almost nearly infallible. But the problem is that those who have worked on Gemini astrology, those who have taught Gemini astrology, they have worked like they are almost blind. Because of this particular reason, even a great system like Gemini astrology have been into much disuse. In fact, nowadays very few people can successfully use it for making predictions. I have done some of my works into it. So much that I am like compelled to say that the Gemini that I teach is my own system of Gemini. And today itself, I have taught three hour long first class of the course and have started with a 15 class exclusive Gemini course, which if you are interested, you can join it. In this video, as I told you, Gemini system is almost infallible. So in this particular system, I am going to talk about how to see marriage through Gemini astrology. And the special part with Gemini astrology is that its principles are very sweet, short, concise, but works very brilliant. So to know about marriage, you will have to know about two things. Arud of the Ascendant and Arud of the Seventh House. So Arud is found from... You know, by knowing the Lagna Lord or 7th house Lord. If you want to know the Arod of the Ascendant, you have to calculate from Ascendant to the Ascendant Lord. And the same number of houses as Ascendant Lord is away from Ascendant, the same houses from Ascendant Lord is the Arod. So basically in nutshell, Lagna Lord in Lagna, Arod in the Lagna, Arod of the Ascendant. Ascendant Lord in 2nd house, Arod goes in 3rd house, Ascendant Lord in 3rd house, Arod goes in 5th house, Ascendant Lord in 4th house, Arod remains in 4th house. Ascendant Lord in 5th house, Arod goes to 9th house, Ascendant Lord in 6th house, Arod goes to 11th house, Ascendant Lord in 7th house, Arod goes to 10th house. Ascendant Lord in 8th house, Arod goes to 3rd house, Ascendant Lord in 9th house, Arod goes to 5th house, Ascendant Lord in 10th house, Arod goes to 7th house. Ascendant Lord in 11th house, Arod goes to 9th house and Ascendant Lord in 12th house, Arod goes in 11th house. This is Arod of Ascendant. Now Arod of 7th house. 7th Lord in Ascendant, Arod of 7th house goes in 4th house. 7th Lord in 2nd house, Arod of 7th house goes to 9th house. Arod, uh, 7th Lord in 3rd house, Arod of 7th house goes in 11th house. 7th Lord in 4th house, Arod of 7th house goes into Ascendant. 7th Lord in 5th house, Arod of 7th house goes in 3rd house. 7th Lord in 6th house, Arod of 7th house goes to 5th house. 7th Lord in 7th house, Arod of 7th remains in the 7th house itself. 7th Lord in 8th house, Arod of 7th goes to 9th house. 7th Lord in 9th house, Arod of 7th goes to 11th house. 7th Lord in 10th house, Arod of the 7th house remains in the 10th house itself. 7th Lord in 11th house, Arod of 7th goes to 3rd house. And 7th Lord in 12th house, Arod of 7th goes to 5th house. Now what you have to see, you have to see the mutual placement between Arod of the Ascendant and Arod of the 7th house. If they are in the same Rashi, 1-7 to each other, 4-10 to each other, 5-9 to each other or 3-11 to each other, it indicates that the couple are friendly towards each other. This translates that this person will have good marriage and he will have good relationship with their life partner, will have a friendly relationship with spouse. That means you and your spouse will understand each other. You people will support each other. Your likes and dislikes will be the same and you will enjoy your marital life. On the other hand, when the Arod of the Ascendant and Arod of the Seventh House are mutually placed 212 or 68 to each other, in that particular scenario, the relationship between the native and their life partner is inimical. So the couple behaves like inimical towards each other. They don't want good for each other. They are in fact revengeful towards each other. They, you know, they are focused on doing harm to each other or, you know, showing showing a lower level to each other and at multiple places this enmity also goes up to the level of court cases fights etc as well in any fights etc also and in any scenario this cannot be said to be a good marriage so this you can check in your horoscope or this you can check in anyone's horoscope and quickly know what type of marriage they are going to have 
Now, what is basically happening? If the Arud of the Ascendant and Arud of the Seventh House is in the same Rashi or one seven to each other, in the same Rashi, that means you will meet a life partner exactly same like you. You people will like each other. You people have same likes and dislikes. You people will support each other also. This is a very good setup. Somehow in this scenario, I have seen that because friendship is very good. Sometimes these people are also competitive towards each other and both of them are working. So they are not able to get much time with each other. But despite the fact, love, respect, care is very strongly present in the relationship. When Arud of the Ascendant and Arud of the Seventh House is seventh to each other, in that particular scenario, you and your life partner are exactly opposite. Life partner is exactly opposite. But despite this fact, you go well with each other. The shortcomings will be fulfilled by the life partner and all in all, it will be a very good marriage. Some competitive edge is there. But love, care, mutual affection and a good sexual life is also there. When the Arud of the Ascendant and Arud of the Seventh House is mutually foretend to each other in this scenario, this is a very good relationship. Couple works to be with each other. Couple likes each other. There is a very good sexual life. There is liking from the bottom of the heart. And this is a type of relationships where actually the couple want to be with each other, does not want to remain away from each other even for a particular second, even for a minute. And they work towards the well-being of each other. And generally in such cases, the shortcoming that I have seen is sometimes because of love relationships or because of being, you know, overprotective about their spouse or being too much time to their life partners, their professional life or personal life, like their relationship with their parents, siblings, etc. may suffer. But for relationships, it is good. When the Arud of the Ascendant and Arud of the Seventh House is 5-9 to each other, it is a very good relationship. This generally indicates that the native and their life partner meet in a very strange circumstances, something that they have never expected that they can meet a person in such situations also. But they meet and then they love each other wholeheartedly. Good romance is there, good support is there. Generally, in such marriage, good children are also there and childbirth quickly happens after marriage. In these cases, I have seen that if people have sexual relationships before marriage, then one can get pregnant before marriage also. This should be avoided. In this case, there is utmost care for your life partner and the couple is, you know, very much caring for each other. Like, you know, a mother is caring for their children and both the people want to, you know, save the other person from every type of problem and they just have this type of approach, you know, that whatever bad is going to happen with the person, it should happen with me, but my darling should be safe. And, you know, that type of concept uh, is there, that level of love is there. The relationship is supported by fortune and after coming into relationship, after marriage, there is a great rise in luck and fortune. Financial status, professional status, etc. of the couple greatly increases. And these people are, you know, like so much engrossed in each other that these people only want to spend time with each other, don't want to do other things to such an extent that they start ignoring their social life and other things as well. In the case when the Arud of the Ascendant and Arud of the Seventh House is 311 to each other in that particular scenario, relationship will demand dedication, devotion, hard work. And sometimes because of physical distance or because of the demands of profession, temporary, because of the demands of profession, temporary separation, temporary distance can be there. But, and in the starting one, one and a half years of marriage, some initial hiccups are also there. There is difficulty understanding what the life partner wants. But after this initial hiccup of one, one and a half year, the marriage becomes good. And as the couple understands each other in one, one and a half year, their marital life becomes very good. They enjoy with each other. They support each other in every endeavor. Here the concept is that what sacrifice I can do for my partner and every type of love, respect, care is there in this type of relationship. The downside is sometimes one can think that the other partner is very much controlling, very much dominating. But this control and this domination is what, you know, like makes them care a lot for you. And they can do anything to save you. 
in that particular scenario where the arud of the ascendant and arud of the seventh house is 2 12 to each other it is a bad match and in this particular scenario one person if the arud of the ascendant is in second house then you are the person who will do everything for the spouse who is ready to sacrifice anything for the spouse want to spend complete time with spouse give everything to your spouse but your spouse will be ignorant of you in fact in multiple cases i have seen that spouse ignores you and goes into extramarital affair and other such things also a spouse have other important things and just somehow they have just you know married under some kind of pressure they remain in marriage under some kind of pressure and over time it breaks also all the efforts you do that goes for waste and the life partner does not recognize your efforts does not realize your love and this ultimately gives a sadness and misery if the seventh house arud the arud of the seventh house is in second and the arud of the ascendant is in the 12th then you are the person who will ignore your life partner about this you should be careful as a remedial measure see most important thing with astrology is that first of all you understand the combination and you should not do the bad thing. Like if you are ignoring the life partner, don't ignore the life partner. Realize that you are ignoring and don't do it. And if you are being ignored, then in that particular scenario, understand that this is the setup. So I cannot do much about it. Then think about the ways when you can, you know, force other person to spend time with you or can do something constructive, go on a date, go on watching a movie and spend time with each other so that you can understand each other well. Think on how to express your love, show your care towards the life partner. These mental, psychological, behavioral changes are to be made first. If you don't make these changes and directly go on spiritual remedies, then it is not going to work. That is very clear. Behavioral changes should be made first and only after implementing behavioral changes for one and two months, you should take on spiritual remedies. Then it works best. In spiritual remedies, in this 212 combination, donation of Items related to home and a bed, table, chair, bed sheet, curtains, kitchen utensils, etc. Donation of these things to needy people or otherwise also donation of money, food, etc. to the needy people is a very good remedy. That should be done. And person should at least visit a temple once a week and offer fruits and flowers to the temple specifically fruits or flower of the color of the Rashi where the Lagna Arud is placed in. If the Rashi is Aries, the color is red. If the Rashi is Taurus, the color is white. If the Rashi is Gemini, the color is green. Cancer is pink color. Leo is off-white color. Right? You can take it for white. Virgo is variegated color. You can take it for mixed color. Libra is black color, Sagittarius and Scorpio are yellow color, Capricorn is blue color, Aquarius is white or brown color, Pisces is white transparent color. Right. So this color you can use as per the color of the Rashi where the Arud Lagn or Lagn Arud is situated in, that particular colored flower or that particular colored fruit should be offered to the temple for the remedy. In that particular case where the Arud of the Ascendant and Arud of the Seventh House are mutually 6-8 to each other in that particular scenario because of responsibilities of the family, because of professional life, etc. There is disturbance in marriage and no matter how hard the couple try, they cannot have time with each other. In fact, the life is continuously disturbed by the interference of family members, enemies, professional competition, etc., which also creates an issue. Many times I have seen that because of relatives or because of servants or because of family members only, there are too many members in family that the spouse, that the couple hardly gets any good quality time together, which also becomes a major reason for problem. In fact, health and other health issues, debility, weakness also becomes a disturbing factor in marriage, which, you know, does not let good relationship, you know, happen between the couple. It stops the couple from enjoying the marriage. And sudden unfortunate events, you know, death of some close relative, you know, shutting down of company, loss of job, transfer, etc. These things, these unfortunate events stop the couple from enjoying each other's company and these obstacles are so great that even after, you know, several weeks and months, if they just, you know, 
do humble planning of going to a restaurant together and eating things then also eating something and spending time together then also things go wrong right some bad news they will get or some you know extra work from office will come which will hinder which will create hindrance in their enjoyment and because of this good relationship cannot develop between the couple and over the time i have seen that in this case in this case sometimes one or the other partner can be attracted to their ex boyfriend ex girlfriend or someone outside marriage also which leads to infidelity and break of marriage as well now this all depends on how strong the affliction is there like if the arud of the ascendant and arud of the seventh house is 6 8 to each other it is a bad setup but in this 6 8 one factor is in taurus another factor is in libra it is not that bad but if one factor is in the rashi aquarius another factor is in the rashi cancer because it is inimical towards each other it is very bad pathetic problematic so based on the rashi the level of affliction should be decided and the result should be predicted accordingly right so it can also go up to the level of permanent divorce separation permanent divorce separation etc to tackle with this first of all if there are problems coming or things are happening then one should make some lifestyle changes you know switching to a stable job and you know planning for things beforehand on all of these things you know when you are sitting in restaurant with your life partner switch off your mobile and all of these things one should do right other than that having images of ganesha in temple right having sorry having images of ganesha in home specifically images of dancing ganesha in home will be very beneficial worshiping ganesha doing donations outside ganesha temple formally celebrating ganesh chaturthi is also very very beneficial other than that helping diseased people handicapped people or people who have survived any type of war or abuse helping them by giving them money clothes food or just serving them or giving them medication etc is also very very beneficial lighting lamp in evening into the temple of devi hanuman shiva is also very beneficial specifically worshiping shiva with lagu mrtunjay mantra o om jum sah or doing rudra abhishekam to shiva at least visiting temple once every week and chanting the mantra of the planet in whose rashi the arud of the ascendant is falling over the time over one and a half two years seems to be very beneficial and it you know at on a greater level 60 65% stops the negative influence but being a very difficult combination the complete complete results cannot be obstructed or complete result does not turn into good but as a human we can only do effort so believe in my words do the effort and i wish the best for you so that will happen only now this principle is not just limited to this much according to me this should also be used in matchmaking so how it should be used in matchmaking now two things you have to do suppose there is a boy and there is a girl these two people will marry or there is a boy or another boy whatever x y z there is a girl and another girl so in the case of boy you take the arud of lagna match it with girls arud of 7th house this is number 1 this is focused for the boy whatever is the result of this matching boy will have that result in another case you take the arud lagna of the girl match it with the 7th arud arud of the 7th house of the boy the result of this matching girl have to face and this is setup number 2 now in this particular case what generally people say sir i am boy my arud lagna is in third house i love this lady her arud is there in fifth house so from third house fifth house is three houses away from fifth house third house is 11 houses away so this is 3 11 match this is absolutely wrong because houses are not fixed in astrology this is something that you have to keep in mind so instead what you have to do you have to take rashi so we say boy is having arud lagan in aries girl is having arud of 7th house in aquarius 
and from aries aquarius is 11th rashi from aquarius counting from aquarius aries is the third rashi so this is an actual 311 match in matchmaking either this matchmaking or any type of matchmaking matchmaking should be done based on houses otherwise it is a problem right otherwise you are doing a wrong match the result of which is never going to be true so this you have to keep in mind otherwise problems will happen now in this particular case when you are taking arud lagna of the boy and seven thous arud of the girl if the matching is bad then boy will suffer in marriage right in the second matching when you are taking the arud lagna of the lady and seven thous of arud of the boy then the bad result have to be suffered by the girl in marriage this you have to understand whereas the other person will be the one who makes the other person suffer now in the same manner as we have learned earlier if it is good result is indicating then of course it is there this good result is there now you see you have to understand a particular point in marital life one is suffering another person also cannot be suffering if both of them are suffering this is problem because of some external factors it can be easily sorted out one is suffering another is having fun in the first case if the matching is bad in both the cases matching is bad marriage is a big no no in that particular scenario marriage will not sustain both will suffer very bad it will quickly terminate both the matchings are good it is a very brilliant match proceed made for each other all the types of enjoyment happiness etc that one can imagine they will have now in one from one side the matching is bad from another side the matching is good if in the first case taking the arud lagna of the boy and seven thous arud of the girl we are taking and it is not matching then bad result the boy have to face whereas the girl will enjoy right so girl can have extra marital affairs etc etc while the boy will suffer on the other hand when we are taking the arud lagna of the girl and seven thous arud of the boy and it is a bad match then girl is going to suffer and boy is going to have fun extra marital affairs and all of these things which will create suffering to the girl in this particular way match making should be done and you say in first case if this match making is bad where you have taken the arud lagna of the boy Seven thous arud of the girl and the matching is bad and say this bad matching is a two twelve or six eight matching. In this particular scenario, remedy is to be done by the boy. In the second case where you have taken the arud lagna of the lady and seven thous arud of the boy and if the matching is bad, then the remedy is to be done by the girl. If the matching is good, then nothing to say that it is very very brilliant. so while you are marrying or choosing a life partner this is a principle that you should very carefully look into and as i told you gemini is almost infallible so if in this way proper matching see this is one of the principles of course gemini also have multiple principles for good marriage right if time permits i can make more videos on gemini principles for marriage and matchmaking if time permits if mood is there and based on your reaction i will have my mood and based on that mood i will do thing right so that's another point but this is one of a very very major factor in match making right you follow this factor in match making then if this factor is matching then at least 50 to 60% of good result say 50 to 60% of positive result so i can guarantee you for sure and also in singular marriage analysis just from the horoscope of the native this is one of the major principles to analyze marital life which you should never miss if you want to make good predictions